Samoa, who is looking to leave his mark on newcomer Ronnie Marks. A career-long heavyweight, Carlos Demola made a decision to test himself in the 205-pound weight class at UFC 122, and the experiment was a huge success as he earned knockout of the night honors against Seth Petrozelli. Tonight, the ground-and-pound crusher from the Czech Republic returns against Brazilian newcomer Ronnie Marks, a Novo Uniao team member who is fresh from a win over former WEC champion Polo Filo. Coming up next, Ronnie Marks squares off against Carlos Bemola. Those folks at home playing the UFC drinking game, take a shot. Ronnie Marks comes to us from that Nova Uniao team out of Brazil, which is making such waves in the mixed martial arts community. They just have an incredible stable of fighters down there, including champion and pound for pound candidate Jose Aldo. Just an amazing camp run by Andre Pedineris, a, a veteran of fights all over the world, famous for the old days of mixed martial arts. Pedineris has helped raise some of the best high-level up-and-coming prospects out of Brazil and this young man Ronnie Marks is one of the newest entrants from Nova Uniao. One of the bigger members of the team, a light heavyweight, whereas a lot of the guys coming out of that camp are 55, 45 in that range. This is a big man at 6'1 and a thick 205. Jiu-Jitsu state champion. And at only 23 years of age, a lot of potential in young Ronnie Marks. Again, Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. And Jiu-Jitsu brown belt under Andre Pedineris is, that's some high level stuff. That is a great gym and a great atmosphere to train in. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the Octagon set to return to Brazil for the first time in 13 years in just a little under two weeks. Ronnie Marks making his UFC debut. Born in Prague in the Czech Republic, now fighting out of London, England. Carlos Vemela is 9-1 in his mixed martial arts career. He is 1-0 as a light heavyweight, and he did it in spectacular fashion, earning knockout of the night honors in his win over Seth Petrozelli in Oberhausen, Germany. A very highly skilled wrestler and a very physically strong man. And that's what we really saw in that Petrozelli fight. I mean, Petrozelli is no slouch, and Carlos Vemela ragdolled him. Very strong with some high-level wrestling credentials. As you said, Czech national wrestling champion. Six times the national wrestling champion. Four wins by submission. Five by TKO or knockout. He's only gone the distance one time. That was in his UFC debut as a heavyweight against John Matson. 11-1 Ronnie Marks against 9-1. Carlos Vemela. Yeah, I mean, that, that's an impressive. Six-time national Czech wrestling champion. And when you see how this guy throws people around, you can imagine it. His UFC debut, Joe, was his first fight outside of Europe. Fought at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, then in Germany, and now tonight at Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Ronnie Marks, 23 years old. Carlos Vemela, three years his elder. Everything else is virtually identical. With the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, 
fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 11 wins, one loss, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Roddy Marks. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record, nine wins, one loss, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Carlos Bamola. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Rob Hines. Rob Hines, our referee. The beautiful Shondella. The six-time Czech Republic national wrestling champion against the jiu-jitsu champion inside the octagon. Black trunks for Bemela. Comes forward with the right hand. You know, and what's interesting is that Bemela's style is obviously wrestling, but Marx wants his fight on the ground as well. And if you know anything about the Nova Unyao guys, they're known for being incredibly well-rounded. All of them have excellent guards. You do not get a brown belt under Andre Pedneris, unless you got a sick guard. So if this fight does go to the ground and Vemela is on top, very curious to see what kind of an attack Ronnie Marks has. Right now, Marks pressing Vemela up against the cage. Marks making his UFC debut on a four-fight win streak. Coming off a win over former WEC middleweight champion Paulo Filo. So far, right now, Ronnie Marks is able to hold Vemela up against the cage, which is an accomplishment in and of itself. Nice elbow on the break, and now Vemela looking for the takedown. Ronnie Marks is a big, strong, light heavyweight. Both men showing how powerful they are. And in these wild exchanges, it's very important to keep your chin tucked. And Roddy Marks does not have his chin tucked. In these exchanges, his chin is wide up in the air, Mike. That leads me to think that he's much more of a jiu-jitsu guy than a striker. And coming over with that big right hand again is Vemela, but he got caught on the counter. Head up, head up, head up. Oh, wow, Vemela is just swinging. Yeah, yeah those... Oh, look at this, Roddy Marks with the takedown. That right there was the definition of swinging for the fence. Yeah, those were wild arm punches, folks. Don't do that at home. <laughs> That's what happens in the heat of combat. You lose all technique. At least some do. So trying to work from the top position now is the jiu-jitsu specialist. Demola up and down again. Very impressed with Ronnie Marks so far. He's moving into mount position here. There's one thing you know about wrestlers. A lot of them do not like to fight off their back. They're not comfortable with it. And because they're so dominant in training, they're very rarely there. Vemela has not gone out of the first round in any of his victories. Longest fight was three minutes and 46 seconds. Five wins in less than a minute. And Vemela's lone loss in the UFC was held down and beat up by John Madsen. Yep. You know, no shame in that. Madsen's a very talented and physically strong guy, but it let him know that he had to get out of that heavyweight division. Madsen's just too big for him, really controlled him, and it was a lot like this fight. This is second as a light heavyweight. Under two. On the clock here in round one. UFC Hardy versus Lytle. Nine in the East, six in the West. Live on versus. And Rogers sports now. Beautiful takedown by Marks. Vemela going to try to wall walk. And as he's doing it, Ronnie Marks is constantly looking for a dominant position. He's trying to turn the corner. Lifts up the leg. Beautiful technique by Marks. Keeps that more down. Mark says that Polo Filo and Minotauro Nogueira are his heroes, and he just defeated one of them. And Polo Filo. One minute remains in round one.
Interesting that Paulo Fila is fighting light heavyweight. What is he doing? It's <laughs> like 5'8", you know? Oh, we've seen what happens when he tried to fight lighter. He's back up for now, but still being controlled by the Brazilian. Let's improve, Cut on the forehead of Carlos Bemola. Let's improve, guys. There we go. Bemola pum pummels on there. He's looking for double underhooks. Nice knee to the body by Marks. Oh, full mounts. Final full seconds of the mounts. round, though. Demo looking for a guillotine. Trying to lock it in. in. Hanging on. Final seconds of the round. Oh, he's going to shake off. And the round comes to conclusion. Step in. Have a sip of water. Step in that jab. Get that overhand and get to his single leg, okay? To get down to his legs, okay? To, to make it to his legs, not his body, okay? Get him to the cage. Don't swing with your head down. Look at him. Okay, come in, step in, double jab. Step your foot forward as the punches. The story of that round was the together. newcomer, get Ronnie face. Marks. Overhand, get the single. And his ability to take down Carlos Vemola, the six-time national Czech wrestling champion, and this young kid out of Brazil, able to take him down over and over again. And at the end of the round, Vemela jumped on a guillotine attempt, was really hanging on to this, but it looked to me like it was a little too high on the head, and Mark was saved by the bell there. Set for the start of round number two. Ref, too much water on him. Too much water on him. Vemela with those wild yes, winging yes. punches yes. again. Guillotine attempt here, right standing side, by Carlos. Marks. Drop down. Single, take it up, take it up. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Pull it in. Vemela gets it. a takedown briefly. Down leg, Marks right back down up to his feet. Single again. Drop down, come you on. You know, knowing the grappling credentials of Vemela, you got to be impressed with this young kid, Marks, already. He's 23 years old, 11 and 1, making his UFC debut. Vemela still swinging for the knockout. Taken down again. Marks gets him down again. Looking for an arm triangle. Can't quite secure it. Vemela's got to be careful about where he puts that right arm. Good shot. Couple hammer fists from Ronnie Marks. One thing we also saw in the Madsen fight was stamina issues by Carlos Vemela. You know, a lot of that is carrying around the 260 pound Madsen, a very powerful wrestler. Right hand connected from Marks there, Joe. Marks gets him down again. Carlos Vemela is getting dominated by a newcomer. <laughs> Trying to give himself some space to do some damage with his ground and pound. And Vemela is shifting his hips. Looks like he's looking for a possible armbar opportunity from his back, but... At this stage of the game, it's going to be hard to pull off. So he throws him up, but very sloppy. Trying to get his own takedown. And he's up, looking for a single, but he's got to protect his neck in the meanwhile. Marks got that neck twisted up a bit here. Let's it go for now. Nice Next position, nice position. No, he's using the overhook on one side and then controlling the bicep at the other. That opens him up for the knees, Mike. That's very nice technique there. Gonna look for another one here. Vemla is in front of us taking some big, deep breaths. He's feeling the pace of this fight. 
Ronnie Marks should open up with an easier Mike. Once he's there, there's a nice one. Once he's controlling that overhook on one side and he gets the, the, the body of Vemela turn in this position right here, he's he's wide open. He's wide open. Vemela is exhausted and he's not defending. Ronnie Marks can push down that right arm to keep that opening and just blast knees through there. There's another. And that one hurt him. Keep that wrist, and there's again. another one. Yeah. Keep that wrist and, and throw those knees. Well, he now. knew from that position the knee was there. Yeah, and Vemela realized that it was a problem and let it go. Look at that, beautiful. Went for a single and then tripped him. As Vemela defended, hooked his supporting leg and tripped him. High level stuff from this new kid. Yeah, Ronnie Marks relentless with his takedowns against the six time Czech Republic national wrestling champion. Yeah, I mean, how impressive is that? Inside control here. Let's see if he, he wants to keep this pressure on him and isolate one of these arms. Now it looks like he may try to move into a mounted crucifix position. No, he's looking for that arm triangle. He's looking to weasel his head into the armpit on that side. See how he's doing that? He keeps doing that with his head. He wants to get his head underneath the left armpit of Carlos Vemela and isolate that arm. He's gonna, he's gonna have to be a little bit more clever about it, and he's gonna have to do it in a position where Vemla does not have his legs up against the cage. If Vemla can explode and create a little space there. And in the meantime, he'll throw down some ground and pound. Yeah, now he just stretched him out, moved him away from the cage a bit. Vemla only has one leg on now, and much less leverage. He's got some time to work, Joe. Just under 30 seconds now on the clock here in round two. Elbows well, to the body. Like a true Bra Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist, he's slowly just holding him and controlling the position, waiting for his openings. But, you know, when you use jiu-jitsu in MMA, sometimes you got to take more chances because you don't really have all the time in the world. <laughs> Round two. Now, if you had seen Carlos Vemela fight before, you would really be impressed with what Ronnie Marks is doing in this fight. And let's take some looks at it here. Over and over again, the big Brazilian kid has been able to take down the six-time Czech Republican wrestling champion. Boom! And look at these knees to the body. And look at this beautiful takedown. Goes for the single and then hooks and sweeps that leg and drops down into side control. Just a, a beautiful performance so far from this young Ronnie Marks. One more excellent representative of this Nova Unyao team. And you see a very exhausted Carlos Vemela, who is very accustomed to finishing fights and doing so quickly. And has really been in the bottom position for the better part of this matchup with Ronnie Marks. Vemela really, knowing his back is up against the wall, must know that he is behind two rounds to one. And there Marks gets that same technique. And again, controlling the left arm with his wrist and then and dropping in that knee and holding him in that place over and over again. Look how he's got the body turned sideways, wrist control. And Vemela's got to get that arm free, and he can't. He knows that knee's coming. He's trying to block it with his leg. Yeah, he knows it's coming, but he's tired, too. He's taking some big, deep breaths. Well, Marks has been leaning on him the entire match. Leaning on him, taking him down, and beating him up. And more of the same here. First minute of round number three. UFC newcomer Ronnie Marks. I'll tell you what, the light heavyweight division has an exciting new entrant. And Marks drops Vemela down again. He's winning the he's winning the battle with his pure power, with his strength, and with outstanding technique. I'm just amazed that he's able to take this guy down over and over again like this. Take him down, hold him down, and beat him up. And Vemel must be amazed as well. With his wrestling credentials, this has got to be pretty upsetting. 
And Vemola turning his hips again, looking for some sort of an opportunity for a submission off of his back, but nothing even close. Nose is bloodied up a little bit. Well, Vemla is so tired and beaten down, I would like to see Ronnie Marks move to a dominant position and try to finish this, Mike. Get out from in between the guard, move to side control or mount him. And I think he can do it. And here's his opportunity. Push that leg down, step over. There's one. He's, this is basically free. What he really needs to do, though, is, is not quite over that left knee, or the right knee, rather. He needs to step that leg up. He's pushing it down. There it is. Now he's over it. Vemla goes to a lockdown to try to protect himself from being mounted. And what he's doing is extending the right leg of Ronnie Marks. But Ronnie Marks can get that out of there if he just gets a head and arm control and presses down with a shin and instep. He needs to get his body up higher and his hips up higher on Carlos Vemela. Uh, he's beating him up in the process. But you know what? He's looking for that arm triangle also on the right-hand side. Now he's inside control. There he goes. Nicely done. Just the process, and you see the experience with his jiu-jitsu. He, he took the process. He knows where he wants to be, waits for his opportunity, and takes it. Now let's see if he can finish it from side control. Now he's looking for the Kimura on the left arm. 90 seconds on the clock. Shots to the body, moves to the north-south position. I would like to see Ronnie Marks dive on a submission here, Mike. You know, he's buttering this guy up. He's getting him ready, but he's got to move on it. It's hard, though, when you're tired and you, you've got a good position, you just want to kind of hold it. And that's what he's doing right now. He's throwing punches and holding the position. I would like to see him take a couple deep breaths and try to finish this fight. Even with strikes, try to finish this fight. So far, the UFC de de C debut, excuse me, the UFC debut of Ronnie Marks is good. I would like to see it end spectacularly. He's got 50 seconds to do it. Yeah, now he's moving. He's moving, he's gonna mount him. He's gonna use that right now. Decided not to. Just a dominant performance by the newcomer. Well, what's the most amazing about it is that he's dominating with wrestling. He's out grappling the six-time Czech national wrestling champion. I mean, pretty impressive. Beating him down. To secure a victory in his UFC debut. Ten seconds. Ronnie Marks. He played it safe in the end, but it was all Ronnie Marks. He out wrestled the wrestler. He out everything, though. Yeah. He outstruck him, out controlled him on the fence. You know, the striking against the cage was all Marks. This over and over again, this unheralded young Brazilian kid was able to take down this highly deco decorated wrestler. And there's those nice knees to the body that he landed over and over again from that clinch position. And here's the end of the fight. It's all Ronnie Marks. Just own this fight. Meus irmãos, todos meus amigos, minha equipe. Obrigado, galera. Less than two weeks away from the return of the Octagon to Brazil, the Brazilian performs very well tonight here in Milwaukee. Ronnie, With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ronnie Marks. Ronnie Marks, the winner by unanimous decision.